Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Wix and back with another video. This time I thought I'll talk about uh, some Windows shortcuts that you can use to look like a genuine pro because I, I mean, you know, it's gonna be that time when you're trying to use your laptop or your PC and there's somebody next to you and then you, you're clicking everything, uh, new file, uh, and you want to look like a pro right? or if I want to open notepad, what do I do? Uh, notepad. And you want to look like a pro. So I'm going to show you a, a few shortcuts for that. Yeah, the cat needs to, needs to see what I'm doing. Let's continue. So the first one, like, uh, you want to open settings. What are you going to do? Are you going to like, uh, go here and go here. And if you watch my customization video, let, let me get up the magnifying thingy magnifier. So if you watch my custom customizing windows video, you're going to see how to add this settings button right here. But, uh, yeah, if you want to open settings, what are you going to do? Click, uh, start, click settings and then settings opens. Now nah, we're not about that life. You just press the windows key and I boom we got settings by the windows key i mean the windows logo key that's your that's your uh, that's on your keyboard so you want settings nothing else windows key and i there you go boom we have settings then let's say uh somebody asks you hey what pc do you got and you're like oh i don't remember easy windows key and break key boom this is your hardware you find it instantly the break key is usually the one with pause on it it says pause break press windows key on that one boom you get system info and then let's say you want to look for some files are you going to click this put your hand on the mouse no we don't do that here windows key and the letter e boom we have explorer up how Nice is that one. I use this all the time. Basically I, I never click explore. So we got explore up and then you want to search for something. Are you going to click, put your hands on the mouse? Nah, we're going control and F and then you type and it searches. Let me put out the magnifier back up so you can see it. So basically we're like this and then we press control and F. And it moves the focus there and then you can type uh, where see you type in files already that's beautiful and then um, let's say you want to delete a file for deletion you actually have two shortcuts let's go to the documents basically and um, if you want to send it to the recycle bin you just press delete and it goes into the recycle bin let's restore it but let's say you want to delete it and skip the recycle bin then you press shift delete and enter and boom it's gone let's make a new one because we'll need it so yeah if you want to skip the recycle bin click the thingy shift delete press enter you're done you don't have to right click uh delete and then go to recycle bin and empty recycle nah we don't do that here we just shift delete and it's gone and then if you want to like copy folders files from one place to another you can just you don't do right click copy right click cut you do you select the file you press ctrl c and then go to the folder where you want to paste it let's go on my desktop for example and then to paste it we don't do right click paste no 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 we do control V and there it is. And um, if you want to undo the control V, the paste, you can press control Z. Boom. It's back where it started right here. And for cutting, this was copy. So control C to copy. Then you go to the destination control V to paste. But if you want to cut it, for example, now it's in both places. Let's delete it from the desktop. And then let's say we want to move it 
to move it, you, you don't do right click cut, no. You click it, you press Control X, and then go to the destination and press Control V again. Control V for paste. And now it's gone from here and we have it in the desktop. And let's say you wanna open a new tabs in Explorer. I wanna see two folders at the same time like this plus button up here that you can use. Let's get the magnifier up. I need to find a better app for the magnifier, but anyway. So let's say you want uh, new tabs here. You're not gonna put your hands on the mouse and click plus, come on. We're pros, right? We need shortcuts. You do, you do control T, boom. You have a new tab, control T. Do it, let's do it again, control T. And then let's say I wanna move to this tab. Am I gonna put my hand on the mouse? No, I'm not. I'm gonna do control shift tab and it moved me to the first tab. To go to the next tab, you press control tab. So basically for next, it's control tab. For previous tab, it's control shift tab. But you can see it better if we have three, for example, and I'm in the middle now. If I wanna go to the right, control tab. I'm on the right one. If I wanna go backwards, control shift tab. And if you're at the end and you go forward, control tab, it's gonna move you to the first one. And then let's say we wanna close the tabs cause I don't need this tab anymore, for example. Control W, boom, tab is gone. I want to close this one, control W, tab is gone. You do everything with the keys. Let's see, I wanna see the properties of this file. I'm gonna right click, properties, nah, we're gonna press alt enter on the file and we get the properties. This is very useful, I usually use that a lot because it's too hard to right click, find it in the list, nah, just alt enter, done, ready to go. Let's say you wanna take a quick note. What are you gonna do, go here, type notepad, you can do that, but I usually press Windows key and R and it run opens and then you just type notepad and enter. And boom, you got notepad. So let, let's do that again with the magnifier on. I mean, it's basically the same as this. If you press Windows key to open the menu and type notepad, it's the same, yeah, it's the same thing. I, I'm used to using Windows key and run to type notepad here, but Windows key and, uh, Windows key and uh, run, Windows key and R to open the run menu. The difference is you can run console commands in here if you want. But yeah, Windows key, notepad, enter, you get notepad up, and then let's say you wanna take a quick voice note, Windows key and H, and boom, we have the dictation, and now we can uh, dictate. Click the microphone button. Oh, I don't have it uh, on this virtual machine. Basically, you click the microphone button and then you can uh, voice type. It will type anything you want in there. But I don't have a microphone linked to this virtual machine, so I can't show that. And the next one, let's say you wanna take a nice uh, screenshot of a window or of a document or anything, and press Windows, Shift and S, and this appears, and then you just drag your mouse and highlight, like let's say I wanna take this region and show this to somebody or a picture or something, it doesn't matter what, you can screenshot a region of your screen, that's the idea. So you drag a mouse, take the region you want, release the mouse, now it's in your clipboard, and then we go into paint, and you can just control V, to paste, and boom, you got a screenshot. This also works if you wanna paste it in Discord, for example. If you wanna send somebody a quick screenshot, Windows Shift S, drag around, you got it, and then you go into Discord, press Control V in Discord, and it's there. This is one that I use very, very much. And for the last ones, for the browser, I see some people having trouble like getting tabs to open. 
unless yeah you can middle click on uh, things and you will open them in a new tab but let's say you want you're on a page and you want something from your shortcuts here i'm gonna put your angel mouse and click plus no you're not you're gonna press Control t boom new tab let's say i go here let's say i go wikipedia and now by mistake let's say i closed wikipedia what do i do do i go plus and go back to wikipedia no if you accidentally let's say i accidentally close this one boom Control shift and t brings back the tabs you closed and actually works with multiple tabs so if let's say i close wikipedia and i close one youtube tab i do Control shift t brings youtube another Control shift t brings wikipedia so you're never losing tabs again also some other nice functionality in the browsers most people know about it but i use it a lot so i'm gonna tell you about it if you have like 15,000 tabs you can select one for example right click on firefox it's close multiple on chrome i don't have chrome here but it's the same and you can do close other tabs you can do close tabs to the right or tabs to the left i usually drag the one i want to keep like if i want to keep uh, this one i'll put it here and then right click on that close multiple close everything to the right and all the tabs are gone that's how i sort my tabs easily and of course, I think Control W works. Yeah, Control W closes the tab. So these shortcuts are not Windows. I mean, they are Windows specific, but they apply to multiple apps. Control W also works to close tabs in Explorer. Control T also works, as I showed before, to get a new tab in Explorer. And the shortcut keys to change tabs they also work in the browser so let's see Control t Control t now i gotta i want to move to a tab before Control shift tab and if i want to move to the next tab Control tab just like it works in explorer the shortcuts are the same for explorer and your browser and it works the same on chrome because they are like generic shortcuts for tabs in general so it works on chrome it works on firefox should work in opera should work in everything. And I think um, that is it for me. I will have another video coming about multitasking in Windows because, of course, there's more shortcuts that you can use. But I just thought I'll show these basic ones by just with just moving around Windows, creating files, copying, pasting, stuff like that, launching stuff fast. Well, Windows key and type, of course and the tabs in the Windows Explorer because these ones are very useful when I wanna or yeah yeah one more if you wanna create a new document a new folder you don't right click a new and go to folder now nah, we don't do that here right Control shift n boom new folder type the name blah blah enter done you wanna get rid of it so to select multiple files you hold shift an up arrow or down arrow if I'm on this one shift and down arrow, down arrow and then it selects both of them and then what do I press to skip the recycle bin shift delete boom enter they're all gone that's how you use windows <laughs> thank you for watching and I'll see you next time cheers